Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, first of all, let me start by, on behalf of the majority, minority side, I know my whip has spoken. Also congratulate Amos Kimunya, the Honorable MP for Kipipiri, who is the incoming uh, majority leader. I have no doubt in my mind that uh, Amos Kimunya will not disappoint in this position, because first, he has the experience that has been talked about. This is serving his third term in parliament, but more importantly, he has also served in two positions that are very critical for this position that is now going to hold. One, that he was deputy uh, leader of uh, government business in the 10th parliament, I remember, and which, of course, put him in a position where he was like serving as a leader of uh, government business because the vice president was the leader of government business. Mr. Speaker, he has also been a member of the House Business Committee in this turn of parliament and uh, myself, Honorable Dwale, and uh, we have served in that committee. And I think he's one of those MPs who attend religiously the House Business Committee without fail. But Mr. Speaker, having said that, I also want to add that he's an accountant like myself, and we know ourselves as accountants that we are very thorough people. And all round, if you want an all round person, you get it in an accountant. We are even lawyers, actually. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, allow me to say the following about uh, my good, good friend, Honorable uh, Dwale, who is the outgoing leader of majority party. From 2011, we came with the Honorable Dwale to parliament the same day. We were sworn in the same day in the same party, and we were planning together, actually, even including electing uh, Marende as a speaker. But from 2011, Mr. Speaker, we have not been in the same political side, on the same political side with Duale. He actually chose to support the president and the deputy president, and as everybody knows, I have stuck and I continue to stick with the right Honorable Raila Moludinga. And so we were in different camps, but one thing is clear, that at personal level, we have been very good friends with Duale from 2011 to date and possibly in the future. I don't see us breaking up our personal friendship. And so I know Duale not just as a leader of uh, the majority leader, but as my personal friend. Sometimes people couldn't understand how come we relate so well at personal level, but when it comes to work, we disagree properly. But that was the nature of work. Mr. Speaker. But in terms of delivery, I don't think it is in doubt. Honorable Dwale, I think you've done your, your, your bit, and you've done it well. I don't think anyone would have done better than you, especially as the first leader of a uh, majority in this country, at a time when it was not easy. As I conclude, Mr. Speaker, Dwale weathered a lot of storms as the majority leader and uh, that time in the 11th parliament, sometimes it was really annoying us. Remember the security laws amendment bill, Mr. Speaker. We fought here physically. I didn't fight with him physically, but we fought with words. I only didn't fight him physically because he was my friend, personal level. But if he was not my friend that day, I think I would have looked for a way of hitting him and probably would have also retaliated. But what I'm saying in a nutshell is that he had the zeal he had the determination, he had the willingness to deliver for his party. And I think, Honorable Dwale, you've been lucky. Serving seven years in a volatile political environment like ours is not easy. Lastly, there's one thing I want to say about him, Mr. Speaker, that is a very honest person. If something is not possible, he tells you, and you can disagree. I remember in the 11th Parliament, I wanted to be chairman of PAC, and uh, Jubilee side were not comfortable with me. I asked him if, why, uh, because I had been whispered to, today I will tell you who told me. It was Nelson Gaishuhi who whispered to me that you didn't want me to be park chair. And I confronted him as my friend. And he told me, buddy, if you want to be chair of park, talk to William. That was the deputy president. And I told him I don't even have his number. How do I talk to him? And he gave me his number. Mr. Speaker, and I called uh, the deputy president. He didn't pick, 
But when I sent him a text, I think he didn't know it was me. He called me immediately, three minutes after I'd sent the text. And asked me, buddy, where are you? I said, I'm here in parliament. And we talked. I told him, I want to be park chair. And I'm told, you, if I don't talk to you, I'll not be park chair. Mr. Speaker, the rest is history. But we spoke. I'm happy that uh, Duale told me that Jubilee is very uncomfortable with me being park chair. And of course, I didn't become park chair. And that is politics. Who would want someone who is not going to further their political agenda? in a particular seat. So, Honorable Duale, I wish you well. I wish you well in your service for the people of Garissa Town uh, constituency. And at personal level, we'll still remain friends. As to your political leaning, I don't know where you're going to stand because a lot of changes and dynamics are coming along the way. Going to 2022, I can already see it. And there's going to be political grooving. There's going to be a tsunami. I don't know who it is going to sweep. Whether it's going to sweep you or me, I don't know. Maybe we might find ourselves in the same camp group, but I will tell you, if that group does not have Raila Odinga, I will not be in that group. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I wish now, everyone well. Now.